Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 882. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about why now is the perfect time for new investors to try cryptocurrency. Well, if you've been following the cryptocurrency markets at all, you know we had an enormous pullback. Cryptocurrency can be very volatile, as I've explained, but it's also volatile on the upside, which is why it's volatile on the downside. This kind of a correction or a pullback happens from time to time, and generally it's led from the leader in the cryptocurrencies, which is Bitcoin. Now, we did have some news last week on Bitcoin, and that was that the Chinese government was looking to change some of the laws in regards to Bitcoin. According to Reuters, China doubled down on efforts to prevent speculative and financial risks by cracking down on mining and trading of the largest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. China's Financial Stability and Development Committee chaired by Vice Premier Liu He, singled out Bitcoin as the asset it needs to regulate more. So that created some fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the Bitcoin market, which does lead all the other cryptocurrencies. So down we went into a pullback. But here's the thing. What people don't realize is that when you have a steep pullback like that, that's the perfect time. That's the low risk time for investors who are looking to allocate a small percentage of their portfolio. And there's many, many, especially affluent investors who are looking to put 3%, 1%, 5% of their portfolio into cryptocurrencies. This is the least risky time because it's already pulled back. Therefore, you're not investing high with the risk of a pullback ahead. You are somewhere nearer to the end of a pullback And I think we are very close to that here. And you're likely to benefit from a snapback where the aftermath from a pullback is for a sharp move higher. Right now, bargains abound in all cryptocurrencies because they all pulled back in sympathy with Bitcoin's dominance. So now, whatever cryptocurrency, if you've been studying them and you know which ones you want, they're all available on sale. And this is a great time to buy. These kinds of waves and pullbacks happen in every kind of investing market, but they are more pronounced in cryptocurrencies because the upside is so much greater in cryptocurrencies. Waves like this are simply cycles and you just have to move through time until they're done. Once they're finished, they will get back into a bullish pattern typically. So is it worth it to even put your toe in the water and try $10 or $50 or $100 on cryptocurrencies? I think it is. Through the Uphold app or through the Coinbase app, depending on your state and where it's legal for you, I think you should try some of the quality cryptocurrencies that are larger. As you know, I haven't been a Bitcoin fan and I probably never will be a Bitcoin fan, but Bitcoin is way out of a lot of people's price range as well. When you're looking at what to invest in, you always want to invest in quality. And that means that it's typically going to be probably in the top 10 largest assets that there are in the asset class. By being in the top 10, they've already shown that there's massive adoption for those cryptocurrencies. So I think if you're a new investor just looking to get in, you should first look in the top 10 largest cryptocurrencies. Don't go to the lower quality ones, the ones that are the long shots. It's important to stick with quality because that's where the big wall of money behind us is going to be investing. They're gonna be looking at the largest cryptocurrencies. They're going to be looking at the use cases for the cryptocurrencies. That means 
what do they do? They must do something. They must have a reason to exist other than just being a store of value, in my opinion. They must either help with smart contracts, that is automating things and having work or legal documents or real estate or insurance or banking automated and have passive income possible, or they are something that transacts other currencies and cross-border payments. There has to be a use case for your cryptocurrency that you're investing in. You wanna stay away from the ones that are long shots. There's a lot of speculative coins out there that don't do anything, and that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about finding the next Amazon of the future today, and those things exist. Five years from now, 10 years from now, some of these top cryptocurrencies are going to be the market leaders and are going to have a much higher valuation. And even putting $100 into one of these cryptocurrencies could be a life-changing decision for you. Why do I say that? Well, five years ago, just $1,000 grew into a six-figure value in three cryptocurrencies that are in the top 10 right now. That's Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. Let me say that again. $1,000 invested five years ago became six figures, whether you invested that $1,000 in Bitcoin, whether you invested that $1,000 in Ethereum, or whether you invested that $1,000 in XRP. It became a six figure value in five years. That's why I'm saying new investors who wanna try cryptocurrencies, if you have been studying them for a while, if you have interest, or if you've been following me and what I've been teaching, this is the time to stick your toe in the water and buy some. This is the lowest risk point that you're going to have, I think, for a long time to come. Because waves and pullbacks like this, they happen, but they don't happen all the time. And for this to have happened across the board on every cryptocurrency just about, means everything's impacted, just like everything sold off when stock sold off when the pandemic first came in. Whether or not they deserved to sell off was another matter. Everything sold off at the same time. And that's what we're seeing now. And wasn't that a great buying opportunity to get into the stock market right then? These kinds of sharp pullbacks are great times to invest. They're actually lower risk times to invest than when the market's at an all-time high because it does have the ability to have a 50% pullback. But if it's already pulled back 50%, it usually isn't going to lose as much from there. It's usually going to have a sharp bounce back, kind of like a rubber band, where it's gonna bounce up sharply. So these kinds of pullbacks are where I urge my investors to invest, whether it's even just a small amount if you can only afford $10, there's cryptocurrencies that are selling at 50 cents or under a dollar that you can invest in in the top 10. This news was mainly focused on Bitcoin, but we did have some news in the United States that also may have affected the cryptocurrency market. And that is that Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen recommended that any $10,000 withdrawals out of cryptocurrencies would have to be reported to the IRS. Now, this is similar to what we do in the banking system, where if you're taking $10,000 in cash out of the bank, you also have to declare that and fill out forms and paperwork. So it's anti-money laundering. These are things that are done in the banking system. It's another level of protection against some criminal behavior. It doesn't mean you can't do it. It just means you have to report what you're doing. And it hasn't been passed into law yet, but it was mentioned. So that also may have impacted the cryptocurrency markets. Nonetheless, whether it's China putting restrictions on Bitcoin or whether it's the US saying you have to declare $10,000 withdrawals of cryptocurrency, neither one of those things are fundamental reasons why you can invest in some of the leading cryptocurrencies other than Bitcoin. As with any investment, you need to do your homework before you invest. Know why you're investing in a cryptocurrency. Know what the use case is. What does it do? Know who's already adopted it and how many customers do they have? 
and also what are their future prospects about how well they're going to do, what their market share is that they could have in the future, and how big their actual adoption could be. I haven't been to China lately, but I know that in China, digital currency is used almost exclusively. They really don't use paper money anymore. Everything is done through their phone, whether you're taking an Uber or whether you're buying something at the market or the store, everything is transacted with your phone and digital currencies. Digital assets are unquestionably the future. And that's why I'm encouraging you, if you've been thinking about trying some cryptocurrencies, this is the perfect time to consider investing a little bit in the cryptocurrencies that you've studied, you know about, and you've been waiting to get into. So do your own research, but even a small investment today in a sharp pullback like this could be a life-changing decision for you. So just understand opportunities like this don't come along every day, and when they do, you wanna be able to take advantage of them. I highly recommend that if you haven't listened to my interview about the future of cryptocurrencies, I actually, on my blog, not on my podcast page, because this was somebody else's podcast, so on my blog, I posted the links to their interview of me where I spoke on the future of digital assets and cryptocurrency. So if you want to hear that, go to my website at lindapjones.com, click on my blog, and scroll down to the top post, which is called The Future of Wealth Building with Cryptocurrencies. I think you'll really like my interview on the Free Retiree podcast, where I talked about incredible opportunities for high rates of compounding and what that can mean for your wealth building and financial freedom. Just a reminder, we still have a few days left of our review contest going where you can win one of 25 prizes. You could win my Wealth Heiress book signed by me. That book was named to the list of all-time best wealth books by Book Authority. 10 people will win my Wealthy Mindset Blueprint audio sets valued at $197. And five people will win one-on-one wealth mentoring sessions with me. All you need to do is leave a podcast review on Apple Podcasts for Be Wealthy and Smart. That will get your name in the drawing one time. And if you've read the Wealth Heiress book and leave a book review on Amazon, that will get your name in the drawing two times. You can be an international listener and win as well. Winners will be announced on the June 2nd podcast. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.